Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing great. Today I'm gonna to talk about my mindset before I fight because quite a few people have asked me about it and um, wondered if I was gonna make a video on it. So here's this video for you guys. Let's get into it. So for me, it's my mindset starts when um, that first initial seed of, you know, I know I'm gonna fight or and, um, I've been found a fight or I've been offered a fight, that, that's when the mindset really kicks in there. So it, it could be, let's say, even four weeks away from the fight, just using that um, as an example. Could be less, could, could be sometimes more time, just depends. Let's just say four weeks as, in, uh, as an example. So that point for me, it's kind of the most uncomfortable part of the whole um, of the whole situation for my mindset. That's probably the most nerve wracking part because when you get told that you go from five minutes ago, you were, oh, you were okay, you know, you, you, you were um, having, having sugar, ha having bread on, you know, eating what you wanted to do, not being too, you know, putting too much pressure on yourself to, to train or to do this, to do that, to be disciplined. But then when you find out you're fighting, you think, Sh sugar, you know, I I've got to book my ideas up now because I know in, let's say, four weeks time, I'm going to be stepping in that ring and there's going to be people watching me um, you know, pe people are paying to see me. I owe it to myself to, to, to do a good performance and also owe it to my trainers and my gym uh, to, you know, to, to represent the gym with my, with my good performance. So that's kind of the, 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 where your mindset flips right there. And then from there, that's kind of where I accept it um, because you can't, that when you first get told about your fight, your, your fight you can't then carry on that nervousness, you know, through, through your fight camp and your training. It won't, at some point you have to accept it, you have to come to terms with it and realise, okay, what's ahead? You know, I will have to train hard because you will have to train hard. You will have to be disciplined, okay? You have to accept that. You have to realise what you're doing and the fact that you're, there's no, no one's forcing you to do it. It's up to you. So you can't kind of feel like, oh, you know, I don't want to do it or, you know, should I be doing this, should I not be doing this? Because at the end of the day, you're the one that's, you know, someone said to you, do you want this fight, yes or no? You have all the power to say yes or no, it's up to you. And then your, your fight camp starts and how I get through feeling tired and run down because there will be times when um, you always don't feel strong. You might be tired, you might be a bit dehydrated, you might have had a bad sleep, things might be going on in your life which cause you to get stressed out and you can't 100% maybe for that night focus and do uh, the best for your training and have, have the best session that you could have had. So the things that get me through them times, there's really one main thing and that is the fact that I know that in let's say three or four weeks time, it will be me standing in, in that ring face to face with your opponent. So that you've got to accept that as, as, as the reality because by knowing that then I can think, right, well, th th this is how I think. So I think, right, do I want to be standing in the ring and feeling weak or do I want to feel strong? Okay, Qu uh, second one off, I want to feel strong. Okay, do I want to be standing there and feeling confident like I've done everything I know I could have done and I know I'm at the, the strongest and, and fittest I've been and I feel sharp. Do I want to feel like that? Yes, okay, so what do I have to do? Okay, I have to train because that's the only way you get to that point. You can't just, you know, there's not some kind of magical switch you can just switch on and it's like, oh yeah, I'm confident now. Because when you go to, to a step in the ring like that, all, all the, all the, I, I wanna swear, but I won't, all, all, all the rubbish kinda, it, it gets blown away and, and you're left looking at, okay, what's the reality? What's the truth? You know, you have to be honest with yourself. So that's what kind of gets me through, through the hard sessions is thinking about, um, what position I want to be in when I'm in the ring. So and then, and then the next kind of major change in your mindset will be the week of the fight. So um, the week of the fight is a very key time for your training. That's where you're, you're peaking in terms of your, your fitness and your strength really and, and, and your energy. So that's where you want to be peaking obviously up to the, the, the night of the fight or the competition. So um, often at that time the training will be the hardest it's been at that time and um, you will start to feel nervous and your mind 
we'll start to, to, to jump ahead and think about you know, future scenarios and create all these ideas of, oh, what if this happened? What if this happened? What, you know, what if, you know, I could go on and on. Your mind just can just create and create and you need to, at that point, stay calm. That, that's the key. You need to stay calm and you can't follow these, these thoughts because often they're negative. It would be good if you, have, if you had good thoughts like that, but often it's negative, just the nature of your mind and, and doubt so, and fear. So you kind of have to relax at that point, or at least I, I relax, and I just focus on what's in my power at that time. Because what really can I do at, at, at this point in time? Okay, I can, I can show up for training, I can keep being disciplined at this time. This is the time to use uh, how I think. This is the time to use 100% of my, my time, my energy, my effort now. This is where it counts, and you will know by that time, uh, by the time of the, the week of the fight, if you're fit or not, or if you're strong or not, because you'll you'll feel it from yourself. So um, that's why, with the time before that and the mindset before that point, you need to have the right mindset to train hard. Because if you don't have that, let's say when, when you first find out that you're you're gonna fight, or let's say maybe two weeks from this point, or or a week from this point then you wouldn't have put the effort in, you wouldn't have put the, the, maybe all the conditions in place that you needed to, to then get to the week of the fight and then feel confident and strong. And that's how you want to feel because then that confidence and that strength will transition into your performance and to your fight. And that's what you want. And then that confidence, it will act as fuel. It's like energy, it's like an energy source. Um, and then I kind of adopt like a new identity at that point of, I just think of myself, right, I'm a beast, you know, I'm a machine, um, you know, you you kind of have to adopt like a new personality in a way. Uh, it's kind of hard to describe if you, if, if you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> but, um, and as well, you don't want to be too serious and you don't want to put, it's good to put pressure on yourself and from my experience, um, it does cause you to um, have, you know, maybe a better training session if you're really honest with yourself and you put pressure on yourself, but you don't want to put too much pressure on yourself because pressure, too much pressure, it will crush, it will crush you. So, and the, how I like to think about it is when, when, when you're hitting pads and you've not got a fight coming up, you feel great. <laughs> you feel, oh, I can hit a pad, you know, you feel relaxed because you're not so tense and stressed out in, in, in your body because you're not, you've not got that big day coming up uh, in a few days and that will cause you to be tense. So kind of, it's a very fine line between being serious and uh, being too serious. So you've kind of you've got to uh, find the balance and that just comes from uh, experience really. So now then, it's a day of the fight, okay? So you, you've done all the training now, there's no turning back time and, and thinking, okay, I, I can train hard in a few days time. No, you've done it all. So you need to make sure you've done it all right. And um, also you need to have in your mind that um, now and, and the, the day when, when you're first told about um, uh, your fight, you can't expect to have a perfect fight camp because there's too many factors and too many situations that can happen. Uh, f from, from when you first find out about the fight until the day of the fight. It's just too complicated. Like, I've never had a perfect fight camp. Um, maybe if you can have one, then yes, I'd say aim for a perfect fight camp, obviously. But you don't want to um, expect that. And you, you don't, you don't want to kind of just think, oh, well, it's not been perfect, so I'm not at my best. Because, like I said, it won't be perfect. There's times... Um, and I'll give you an example from my own experience where I was going to fight in Sweden and I had, because I was so nervous, because it was my first competition in, in um, almost two years, I was very nervous. I trained well and I was fit and strong, but I was just nervous because I had so much time out of the ring. And that kind of caused me to have a bad stomach and, and, and diarrhea, because what's going on in your head directly affects you, uh, your body, especially your, your digestive system uh, with the nerves. You'll know what I'm talking about if you feel that tenseness there or the butterflies. So I had that feeling and um, I had diarrhea for four days and it was the worst diarrhea I've ever had. Like it was horrendous. I felt 
horrific. And um, even on the day of the fight, I, I had it in the morning, but luckily that was when it just ended. So I couldn't, you know, I, I had to accept that for what it was because th I'm not the only person who's had that kind of experience. You, you know, these, ca these, these things happen, so you need to have um, prepared your mind to, to accept uh, that it's not going to be perfect. And then stay calm, day of the fight, you need to stay relaxed and calm. That's the key. Stay relaxed, stay calm, that's what I do. Breathing as well, focusing on my breathing helps. I don't like to listen to, to music. Um, to, to motivate me before my fight. Um, I see that as a sign of weakness, me personally. Um, I feel like it's better to be calm and, and to have the silence. And also, on the day of the fight, doubt will arise and you will have some fear. That's just how it is. If, if you're not scared or, or if, if you're not fearful in some way, then I'd say that's kind of a bad thing, really. <laughs> Because that, that fear and that doubt, that will kind of guide you towards kind of doing the right thing and performing at your best. It's like, um, if, if you kind of follow the, the fear and the doubt, then it will weaken you. But if you don't follow it and you just accept it for what it is at that, at, at, at that time, and a big thing which helps me is to, to understand, right, okay, you know, I'm just a human being, you know, and I'm about to go into a fight with someone and maybe I can get injured, maybe I could get knocked out. So your, as a protective mechanism, your, your mind and your body will kind of go, okay, so right, we, we need to have the adrenaline going, we, we, need to, we need to be, you know, ready and sharp and alert to go. And that then come up, comes along with your mind creating these different scenarios about, oh, what if this happens? Because it's trying to prepare you for, for all the different kind of situations. So you have to see that and understand that, okay, you know, there's nothing bad about that. That's going to happen. You, these, these, these negative thoughts in your mind, they will come and you've got to use them for, for your support instead of to, to weaken you. So <clears throat> let's say, okay, one hour before the fight now, or let, let's say one hour to five minutes before the fight, you know, maybe you've just got oiled up, um, tie all, and you've, and you've got your, your gloves on, everything's finished now, maybe you've got your monk on, on um, and, and you're about to, to walk to the fight. Um, this is, I love this time. This, I think it's an amazing time because it's like, wow, the energy you feel at that point is unbelievable, like, it's indescribable. It's, it's an amazing feeling. Nerves are there as well, but it, it's, a re, it's a really good feeling. Um, and I don't like to think of, you know, kill, 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 or, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to knock him out, I'm going to do all these things, because at the end of the day, you're going into a fight, and at the end of the and if you're fighting a good opponent or someone who's equal to you, which I'd say that's a good match, uh, or even better than you sometimes, maybe you might not win, but it's kind of weird me saying, oh, you need to think that you're not going to win. How can you think like that if you're going into a fight? I'm not saying think like that, I'm saying, yes, you should think I'm going to win, you know? Like, you should think of yourself as strong and confident and able to win. You should be confident in that, in that way that you're able, actually able to win that fight. Um, but you also need to think about, uh, from, from, from describing how I think, like I said, I don't think about kill, kill, kill. In my opinion, you need to have a clear mind. So you, you need to be calm as well, as well as alert. And you need, to, you need to have a clear mind because you need to be ready for all these different kind of situations. Because maybe if you, if you so caught up and, and thinking the fight's gonna go one way and you get there and maybe, oh shit, he's good, this guy, or he's fast, you know, or, or maybe he hits you and he hurts you, you then can't crumble at that point. That's, that's the key point not to crumble there. So taking it back then, let's say, you know, as I just said, one hour to five minutes before the fight, having that openness and thinking about, okay, you know, whatever happens, happens. You kind of need to have that attitude and kind of leave everything else behind and just be there for that fight. Like, let's say you're, you're sitting down and, and, and you're two minutes away from, from walking out into the crowd. 
all you're thinking about at that time, uh, from my experience, is the next few minutes. It's like nothing else exists at that point. It's a weird place to be. Like that is the only thing that exists because it's so imminent and it's been so imminent for, for, for the, uh, such a long time. And now you're finally there. It's kind of surreal in a way. Uh, but it's, it, it's an amazing feeling. So naturally, kind of everything else kind of goes out the window because like I said, that's all you're focused on. Okay, and then um, at this time, the, the fight's imminent. For me, you cannot put your opponent on a pedestal because as soon as you put your opponent on a pedestal, then they're out of reach. So by doing that automatically, you've weakened yourself. So don't, I don't like to think about what, what my opponent's doing or even what they're thinking. All I try and think about is just myself and just you know my, my fight camp. That's one thing that, that, that can be a source of power as well, is thinking about your fight camp and, and the hard training you've done, you know, and, and the times where you felt strong, or the times where you felt weak, and then how you progress now to feel strong and how you feel right now, you, you know, you feel ready, you feel confident. That's kind of what I tend to think about. I feel like as soon as you start thinking about your opponent and, oh, they're this, they're that, you know, the strong, ooh, you know, someone said he's like this or he's like that or he's got a good left hook. Obviously, you should be aware of your opponent and, and the strengths and weaknesses, obviously, that's a given. But you shouldn't be, you know, um, giving them too respect and playing yourself down. You're both the same. Mate, he's, I guarantee you, he's thinking the same thing about you. <laughs> it's just how it works. Because we all think like this. It's a natural um, survival mechanism uh, in your mind to, to create these kind of situations. So just be aware of that and, um, yeah, and then... You'll, you'll go to walk out and, and you'll go to enter the ring. And when you're kind of in the ring, um, it's like the pinnacle of your life at that point, that you're completely in the moment. There's no time to be thinking about the future or the past. It's a very weird, weird experience. And um, yeah, at that point, I'm aware, you know, my family are watching me, my corner's there, you know, the people that have trained me, it's like family, you know, the, the people that are in the crowd uh, coming to support me and are, are coming to, to um, watch me win, essentially, <laughs> um, and, and to watch me fight. So, and the most important thing for me at that point is to stay calm and try and enjoy it. And um, you've got to be switched on. Like when we say be relaxed, oh, you want to be relaxed. Yes, you want to be relaxed, but you, you don't want to be like, oh, you, you, uh, you know, a bit lethargic. You need to have the, the freshness and, and the energy. You're calm but relaxed at the same time. And um, yeah, then, then the fight starts and then it's unpredictable from there. I can't tell you what happens next. <laughs> nice guys, I will wrap the video up there. Uh, in a future video, I will talk about my, maybe my mindset actually, excuse me, when I'm in the fight itself and, and how your mindset kind of changes and, and what you experience. So um, yeah, keep your eyes peeled for that guys. Uh, it's a kind of it's a different subject altogether really the, the mindset leading up to the fight versus the mindset in the fight it's completely different so um i will make another video about that in the future so i'll wrap the video up here guys again thank you for watching uh really i can't i can't i can't say enough um thank you to you guys you know we're over probably maybe over 80 subscribers now and um the last video went really well so um i hope you guys are excited for the future of the channel and future videos all right, guys, signing out. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.